Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to Soul Family Read. Collective Read, this is for the 7th of October, for whoever resonates. Uh, reading here about manifestation, spirituality, love, romance, relationship. A little more focus here than in my other readings on us, ourselves, and spiritual work. Uh, so, uh, you know, Terrence McKenna, find others, that's what this is about. Uh, using the Gilded Tail Royale, you know, it gives a darn. Um, <clears throat> in my new casa here in Mexico, trying to find the best place to, to read right now. Uh, temporary arrangement, so I'm feeling better. I don't know, I'd read myself into this. Uh, here we are plugging along, the new moon's on us. Uh, energy, uh, now it's building. We got this uh, amazing, uh, a few days away, uh, Mercury in retrograde. It's uh, Saturn, uh, it's uh, Mars going direct. And, Suns right there with Mars, and I just got uh, you know maybe it's me. <laughs> I got all kind of feels about uh, you know uh, Mars being um. I'm gonna take that pop out, the main card uh, about Mars being in its power right now. It's kind of like so that's about personal energy about will asserting yourself. And even if it is in Libra, then what are we doing? Uh, we're asserting ourselves and relationships, uh, figuring out what works for us. Um, making hard decisions sometimes, you know, because uh, you would think labor, right, is just going to always be nice, but I think that's what this is about, and here we are with this Nine of Swords energy. So it's something a little heavy sitting on our minds. I, you know, I go back to the manifestation. For me, it's, uh, uh, you know, um, the title to yesterday's um, um, was did it work <laughs> it's about the manifestation and I think like we're still sitting in this energy of like did it work you know so it's something we're not seeing here I always say I like nine of swords energy because to me it's like we're really dealing with it here um, eight of swords are just lost in it and it's not uh, really doing any good at all um, but nice swords, we're really dealing with it, really feeling it. It's like feeling our feelings, feeling our pain, um, and actively trying to deal with it. And we're just about done. The next sword, and we're done. Now, the advice from Spirit is the Seven of Pentacles. I'll take that upright simply as advice on how to deal with the Nine of Swords. Um, so thank you, Spirit. It's very direct. Um, focus on practical things, um, you know, down to brushing the teeth. Uh, but just really practical things, you know, and reminding ourselves that, you know, we got food, we got a place to live, and be grateful for that, and whatever this is here that's, I just think like, you know, there's this ghost image too, if you can see, looking at her there, ancestral angel, something like that. Um, what's going to get us out of this is kind of focusing on what we have. You know, this is the, the harvest card. Um, usually in relationships, to me, it usually deals with uh, not being reciprocated. Um, so here you could say, well, we don't feel like the universe is reciprocating us correctly. Like, hey, universe, you know, I've done the work. Hey, universe, what the F? Um, I think I should be manifesting. What am I doing wrong? I've, I've been on, done that, I'm this and I've done that. Um, but this is saying to focus on what we can control uh, pinnacles are things you control, even finances, um, practical things, uh, grounding, big time, big time, uh, grounding. Um, focus on grounding, you know, if we're feeling bad, you know, just do it, you know. It's still warm enough, you know, of course I'm in Cancun, Mexico, but <laughs> it's still warm enough for most of us to go outside and stand around in our bare feet on the grass or sit in the grass for a minute. <clears throat> and now... This is the advice from Spirit, the Ace of Wands. That's beautiful energy. Now, I'm feeling this. I think this is saying, guys, the energy's coming. It's getting brighter. It's getting bigger than Pluto's now direct. Uh, Jupiter, boom, is coming. Uh, Saturn's coming even sooner. Uh, big one for me. Jupiter for me, too. I'm all about Jupiter uh, with my energy, but Saturn's very well placed for me. Capricorn, and I've learned to follow the Saturn cycles most of all, even in astrology now, anytime I'm doing transits, first thing I kind of look at, besides immediate things, um, is go back and look at their transit uh, of Saturn cycles. 
because it's all about the Saturn, the Pinnacles. You know, that's all Saturn cares about. What about the bills? You got that cover? You got some money in the bank for emergencies? Uh, you know, you're not in a lot of debt. Got that bills paid down? Okay. You know? <laughs> um, and with the Ace of Wands, it's like, you know, it's it's here, guys. It's coming. This is a lot of power. Look at that. The hand's like, a, like divine power where it's radiating, you know? Um, picking it up with our hands here. And that's inspiration too. It could be confidence building, not only just, fit, but I think physical power, the Ace of Wands. And then look at the outcome, the Emperor. Jeez, is that a promise or what? And now we gotta look at the Page of Swords. But what a great outcome. And when you consider these two together and then look at the dynamics of the colors and everything, um, Man, uh, we're coming out of this Nine of Swords energy with a bang and with fire. And maybe by focusing on the practical things, the Seven of Pentacles that we don't want to do. Hello, Virgo rising. I hate Virgo rising, but I, it's literally my karma because my North Node is there too. Uh, so um, deal, you know, given unto Caesar what is Caesar's, you know, given unto Saturn what is Saturn. And actually releases us to... It kind of explode. Ace of Wands and the Empress. Get ready. Somebody's going to throw gasoline on the fire. And uh, in this case, it'd be good. Like at a weenie roast where you want more fire. Okay. Now, Page of Swords, the overall energy. I don't like this Page of Swords. You know. Um, I call them the creepy Page of Swords. Uh, and messengers, pages, uh, swords, words, communication. Um... This is that little bird that's in our ear that's not good. It's probably having to do with this Nine of Swords energy. That na negative little nag uh, might manifest into a friend or an acquaintance. And you get your ear. You know, this is the person that's always going to say, ah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Or I don't know if you can do that. Or it doesn't seem prudent, you know, or something. Um, and it's a little like uh, negative, you know, what, and the, I think it's mainly us, you know, our own negativity. Um, but it's little, it's that little voice, and we can handle this, but it's there. And it could be manifested as someone else, you know, kind of giving you the same type of vibe, just uh, it's coming from them instead of your own mind, you know, that you're not good enough somehow. And some maybe specific way of this, too, you know, they really get you with that. It's not just generally you're not good enough, it's like, you're not a good enough speaker. You know you can't do this or that. So, um, fuck all that, man. We're getting ready to go kapow. Thank you, guys.